For me, Beethoven is, I suppose I would describe him as a radical singer. That he's, when you get all the, the accents and the aggression and the energy and the sort of build up of tension, which is so exciting in him. With Beethoven, with the, with the aggressive side of it, it's like if you hit a drum and keep the stick on the drum and it goes downwards, then there's a feeling of it all going negative. But if you, if you bounce off, then everything goes, the energy just builds and goes up to heaven somehow. Um, but the singing aspect of it is the, the, the slow music and the melodies are just so completely brilliant and beautiful and wonderful to play. It's a, always a great joy to play Beethoven. Of course, the oboe, my instrument, has some of the great melodies in all Beethoven, the Eroica Symphony, slow movement, the funeral march, um, the, the slow section of the Eroica, the, the cadenza in the first, famous cadenza in the first movement of the fifth symphony, um, the quail in the sixth symphony. That it's just so many wonderful moments for the oboe in those pieces, for all the woodwinds. We're really soloists. Um, and the thing is that with a chamber orchestra like ours, which is a sort of boosted chamber orchestra in, in Beethoven, uh, you, it's interesting because our players play much more soloistically. So in fact, you end up having to play louder than you would if you were an orchestra of 90 people because all of our, for instance, all of our first violins, which very often have similar register to the oboe, are playing um, really soloistic. They're all in great string quartets and and you really have to kind of work with that and find the energy for it. Oh, it's just such a joy, Beethoven.